Guys, if I look kind of strange, it's because I just got my eyes examined and they're dilated right now. So the light is a little much. Let me just... <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's better. Um, also, I can't see anything close up. It's all blurry, so I'm not used to this. But I have good news. First of all, my eyes are healthy, thankfully. They are still dry, because I do have dry eye syndrome, but otherwise they're healthy, so I'm very grateful for that. And the other bit of good news, Taco Bell brought back the Enchirito! <laughs> now, I've never had the Enchirito. They used to have it on the menu like back in the day. And to me, it looks very good. It's basically a burrito that has been coated in like enchilada sauce and like cheese. And you eat it with like a fork and knife, like a proper queen. I'm gonna take these off once my eyes start to calm down a bit. It's just, it's a lot of light. So I'm gonna taste test it for the first time, give you my honest opinion, rate it from one to 10, and let you know if the Enchirito is worth trying or not. Also, they dropped these brand new seven layer nacho fries, which I'm so pumped to try. They have seven toppings. The Lord's number. <laughs> and there's a seven layer nacho fry burrito. So it's the same stuff, just wrapped in a tortilla. I got all three, of course. I'm gonna feast, I'm so hungry. I feel kind of drained. You know, like I get so stressed for any kind of appointment or like exam or anything. Is this crooked? I can't tell. And because of my stutter, it makes eye exams extra interesting. So like when they tell me to like read like the numbers and the letters um, off of the chart, when I stutter, they think I can't see it. <laughs> so I have to make sure I'm like, listen, I have a stutter, so if I pause, that's why. Um, and it was all fine, but it was like, it was stressful. Any social interaction stresses me out actually, so. And tomorrow I have a dentist appointment. What am I doing to myself? I'm taking care of myself, but I'm also putting myself through so much anxiousness. <laughs> okay, I feel better. Also, um, something was leaking here. We have a Linky and Chorito. Don't worry, girly, I've been there. There's things, things are flying and I can't see them. Okay, wow. So this is the seven layer nacho fried burrito. It's very heavy. Like it feels almost like a Chipotle burrito. Listen. Oh, oh love that sound. Wow, so that's great. And then we have, is this the Enchirito? It's all dark. It is. Oh, wow. So that's what's been making. Yeah, it was the Enchirito. She's just that kind of girl. Okay, so um, they put a lot of sauce. The burrito is pretty flat, but enchiladas tend to be flat too, so I'm not mad at that. Very interesting. Okay, I'm excited. It's just so messy. And we also have the, oh my God, this whole bag is filled with fluids. So these are the seven layer fries. Now, finally. Taco Bell released an item with beef, not steak. Thank you, you listen to me. Taco Bell steak is horrible. It's dog foodie and they put it on all the new items when their beef is so superior and um, they never do, but today they did. This is a beefy seven layer nacho fry. I'm gonna tell you all about um, the toppings and the prices and everything right now. Okay, hold on. Okay, I think I can handle the brightness. What's interesting is I can read close up without my glasses, but with them, it's all blurry. I'm so confused. So the Enchirito was $3.79. The seven layer nacho fries were $3.99. And the seven layer nacho fries burrito was $3.49. So the burrito's cheaper than the fries. That's interesting. Now let's talk about the toppings. Oh my God, stop it. So the Enchirito has seasoned beef, refried beans and onions. And then it's wrapped in a tortilla and covered with cheddar cheese and red sauce. Sounds great. And then the new seven layer nacho fries have seasoned, wait, sorry, seasoned nacho fries topped with seasoned beef, black beans, guacamole, nacho cheese sauce, reduced fat sour cream, creamy chipotle sauce and tomatoes and real shredded cheddar cheese. Wow, these are loaded. That sounds phenomenal. I'm shooketh and I'm assuming the burrito has the same stuff but it's wrapped in a tortilla. So, yay! Oh. Quickly, let me get my thumbnail. Can't see. Okay, go ahead. So first things first, I think we should try the Enchirito and then the new 
fries and burrito. <laughs> that rhymed. Dr. Seuss, talk about daddy edition. So let's dig into the Enterito. Ooh, very soggy. Kind of nervous now. <laughs> of course it's soggy. It's soaked in a sauce, but it's like real soggy. That's how it looks. Let's try it. I don't even care that it's soggy. It's phenomenal. Mm. Oh, I feel better. Eh. All the anxiousness just melted away. Oh my God. Now it does feel small, to be honest. There's tons of cheese. Now it's a chunk of cheese right now. I just have delicious. Mmm. Honestly, it looked flooded with sauce, but it's just the right amount, see? It's like empty there. Mm. I would compare it to the size of a taco, not a burrito. It's quite small, but wow. It tastes special. It really does. gone guys it's gone <laughs> oh my goodness okay i was hungry still am if you like taco bell's plain bean burrito you'll love this it's like the better version of that the bean burrito has beans onions red sauce and cheese right this has beans onions red sauce cheese and beef and tons of extra red sauce. So it's just kind of like the more moist, more flavorful version of that. Um, the beef does add a lot. It adds a meaty element, which I think is kind of needed. And the amount of red sauce is amazing. It's so strong and so flavorful, yet it somehow works. And the cheese with it, perfect combination. The whole thing did kind of have like a like very soft texture, but the onions added the crunch that it needed. It's like fresh onions, very crunchy. Love that. And the tortilla is soggy, but not in a gross like way where it like falls apart. It does stay together, but it's just kind of soft. So it didn't bother me. Um, overall, I just think it's a super flavorful item and I really, really, really loved it. Um, I can see some people not liking it just like based on the fact that it's a very wet tortilla. But um, I liked it. So I'm giving Taco Bell's Enchirito a 10 out of 10. Yay, so good. So now let's try the seven layer fries and the burrito version. Get a nice little bite here. Just get a lot, oh yeah, okay. It has a lot of sauces, guys. Let's try it. Why does this taste like a croqueta? So if you're Cuban, you know what a croqueta is. It's like a fried little ham mozzarella stick kind of. <laughs> it tastes like a croqueta. Okay, love that. Mm. So first of all, they're very heavy. Like there's just so, many toppings. And even through all the toppings, you can still taste the fry seasoning, which is amazing. Wow. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Every topping works here, guys. Every single one. Mmm. That bite was way too big. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, let me pause and talk. The chipotle sauce is phenomenal. It really adds so much and it makes these seven layer fries taste very different compared to 
the um, normal like nacho fries, right? Also, I usually don't like Taco Bell's guacamole. It's just not good. It's a slimy texture, all that stuff. But on this, for some reason, it works. You would think this would all be too saucy, but it's not because the fries are so dense that it's just the perfect balance. Ground beef tastes phenomenal. Tomatoes out of freshness. Black beans add sort of a sustenance, you know? Mmm. Talk about eat that. Wow. So many flavors. Just phenomenal. I'm giving the um, seven layer fries a 10 out of 10. <laughs> this is an amazing taste test so far, guys. I'm gagging. So. Last but not least, let's try the, the burrito version. Like I said, it's very heavy. Okay. Oh, gorgeous. That's a very pretty burrito. Pretty inside and out. Like me. Mm. Okay. I'm a mess, guys. I'm sorry. Everything's blurry. Mmm. Mmm. They put a lot of fries in there. It's a good, very heavy burrito. It really is filling. Mm. And for the price, I think it's a bargain. So, I think it tastes great. Not as good as the fries by themselves for some reason. Once again, all the different toppings taste great together. They all taste very cohesive, flavorful, poo pow, love it. But I don't think that Taco Bell's guacamole goes well in a burrito. Like the tortilla and the guacamole just don't mesh well because the guacamole really does have such a processed flavor. But for some reason, it worked on the fries, it did. But with the tortilla, it doesn't. It gives it this like mushy vibe that I'm not a fan of. Ball. But in the bites that did not have guacamole, it tasted fantastic. Super flavorful, super heavy, just like the fries, but in a tortilla. Mmm. I'm very impressed. So I'm giving the burrito an 8 out of 10. I really, really, really think it's a good deal because it's so heavy. So Mr. Bell slayed his taco life as usual. The enchurrito and the fries are absolute gags, both fantastic. Honestly, perfection in my eyes. And then the burrito was almost fantastic, so... I'm very happy with this taste test. And let me know in the comments below um, if you plan on trying to talk about and Chirito or the seven layer fries. And if you do, tell me all your thoughts. Subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Take Out, for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh.